Hello, hello, hi my base, hi my boos, hi everyone out there, how are you doing today? Hope you had a lovely day and as usual, hope the good Lord is in control, yes. Well, my name is Pam Oil from the Pam Oil as UG and as usual, I'm here to share with you on a topic that I very well know is going to be useful to you. And like I always say, it may not be useful to you today, it may not be useful to you tomorrow, maybe not even the other day, but someday it will definitely be useful to you. That's why I keep telling you guys, please share these videos with someone around you. Well, as usual, I won't forget to thank you guys for subscribing to my YouTube channel. For those of you who have subscribed and for those, for those of you who haven't, please, please, please be kind enough and subscribe. And to those of you who are probably watching for the very, very first time, hey, you are so much welcome and you are free to make this your home. All you need to do is subscribe to the Pub Oil as Gigi and don't forget to hit on that bell notification so that each time that I post a video, you'll be notified just like that yes well like i said in our previous videos we are still sharing about anger yes anger isn't good so we are studying on anger so that we know how to manage anger and live happily yes our last time we looked about we looked at anger we looked at um, the causes of anger and we also looked at the different ways that different people express their anger. Now, today we are going to share uh, on some 10 points that can help us manage our anger or ways that we should handle anger. Now, the points are quite many, so I'm, I'm going to try and... Um, be a little brief so that I don't utilize most of your data with most of you already complaining. So yeah, let's start. Uh, our point number one, when you get angry, it's very important that you take a few minutes to rethink before you respond. This one is very, very important. Yeah. When you get angry, before you react, before you respond, before you make a conclusion, Always rethink. Now, most of us have gotten into problem because of this. Because number one, you will say very many things out of anger. Most of which you don't actually even mean. But at that time, because you're angry, because you're pissed, because you feel like you want to... <laughs> you feel like you want to burst. So you will say very, very many nasty words that in actual sense you did not mean and the challenge is to the other person that you are telling these words it will take very long for them to forget those words you who is saying them you might forget them after a while but to the other person they may never forget about these words so guys it's very important that when you're angry try to calm down try to rethink and then react yeah that is our point number one point number two Give the other person time to explain themselves. Um, the, the problem is that most times when we, when we get a disagreement with someone, we don't even want to hear their side of the story. Yeah. So we think that just because we are hurt, we think just because uh, the other person has probably done something to us unjustly. So we think that they don't have a right to explain themselves. No, that is wrong. Always give the other person a chance to explain themselves. Then based on that, you can take your judgment. That, that is our point number two. Our point number three, after you've come down, yeah, then you are free to express yourself, yeah? Like we say, it's normal to get angry, yeah? It's normal to get angry. It's very okay to get angry. I mean, after all, most times you get angry because someone else have ro has wronged you, because someone else has talked about you, something that is probably not right, yeah? So it is okay to get angry. I mean, even the Bible itself says it's okay to get angry as long as you do not let the sun to set down on your anger. So guys, that is very important. Get angry, but make sure before the sun sets down, hey, <laughs> your anger has cooled down, yeah? So like we've said, once you've calmed down, then express your anger. That is our point number three. Uh, our point number four is express yourself with an I expression hmm? instead of you expression, yeah? Uh, for example, if you're a wife and uh, your husband is this kind of person that doesn't want to do anything at home, yeah? So probably uh, the wife has a baby 
and uh, she has prepared, uh, let's say, dinner. She has set the table. You've had dinner. Um, now, instead of the hubby at least helping to, to clean the dishes off the table, after eating, he, he smartly moves to the bedroom to sleep. So, of course, the, the wife will become angry. Now, to you, the wife, instead of um, uh, complaining to your husband, uh, being like, hey, babe, can't you even help with, with cleaning the dishes off the table? Yeah, you would say, baby, I need some help on this. Yeah, so use I, refer to yourself. When you refer to the other person, it's like you already blaming them. Yeah, because once you say you, you, you this, you this, you this, you're already uh, accusing the other person. Yes, but when you say I, it's a little nice. Yeah, it's a little polite. So when you are uh, expressing yourself, I uh, use I, use I expression instead of you expression. Hope you've got that point. Uh, uh, point number five, do not hold uh, do not hold grudges for long. Guys, this is another important point. I mean, we already have enough on our heads. Yeah? Uh, to you who is watching this program, I know you're a parent already. Or at least most of us have responsibilities. So probably you have school fees issues. Probably you have an issue with your boss. Probably your business is not moving on well. Probably you have relationship issues. I mean, we have a lot. Now, when you add on grudges, guys, it becomes too much. Yeah, always try to lighten your life. Always try to make your life easy. Yeah, there are these usual challenges that we cannot do away with. Yeah, like the money issues, relationship issues. Those are things that we cannot do away with. So let's let's have that. But for the other issues, let's try to, yeah, to reduce, yeah? So when you have a grudge with someone, it's okay to get angry today. It's okay to get angry tomorrow. But do not let the grudge stay forever. Yeah, it's uncalled for. It's not healthy. Yeah. And by the way, the funny part of it is that most times the other person that we have a grudge with it forgets it like, like so. Yeah, like long ago. But to you, you keep holding on to the grudge. I mean, even, even the mere sight of the other person makes you feel like, oh, like you want the ground to swallow you. I mean, for what? Yeah, really, for what? So it's important that you do not, don't hold a grudge for long, yeah? Learn to let things go. Learn to, learn to forgive. I don't know, guys. But anyway, you've got it. Do not hold grudges for long. That has been our point uh, number five. Uh, point number six, take time to, take time to relax. This is important. And uh, the people that I, that mostly use this, a married man. By the way, it's, it's, it's a very good practice, yeah? When a married man gets angry, uh, he knows that the more he will continue spending time with a wife, the more he will be heating up and the more they can easily um, end up having a, 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 a worst or a, a more harsh argument or even a fight. So what most married men do, they will prefer to move out and take some time. I mean, enjoy enjoy the, the air. I mean, uh, enjoy the the atmosphere out of home, yeah. So most of them will go out, probably have a drink, probably call a bad day and say, "Hey man, I'm going through this. Can, can we have a drink?" And as we chat, yeah. Then after some time, when they've healed or when they've cooled, that's when they come back home, and that's probably they will continue with the discussion, or else they will just decide to let it go, yeah. Just let things go and chill. So that is a very good. A practice that most men do and you can also uh, do that yeah when you're angry take some time chill relax then come back to uh whoever you're having um the argument with yes uh our next point identify the possible solution yeah by the way in life there's always a solution to everything it might not be the perfect solution but there is always something that can't be are resolved yeah so always find a possible solution to whatever um argument that you've had that could have caused you anger yes uh next point seek for counseling it's important uh each time you have an argument or it's each time you get angry yeah it's very important that uh you seek for counseling if, if the situation has gotten out of hand, yeah, take counseling or talk to someone about whatever 
could have angered you and there will always be a solution. And uh, point number nine, pray over it. Yes, pray over it. When you get angry, you feel like you're really worn down or you're torn apart. But once you pray, by the way, guys, prayer has a way of calming you down. Yeah, prayer has a way of bringing hope into you. So when you get angry, please pray to your God. I won't specify we we are we have different religions but at the end of the day we serve one god so take some time and pray and definitely god will help you um get a solution or calm down to whatever is angering you and lastly learn to forgive and forget the forgetting part might be hard but learn to forgive yes learn to forgive it's very important to forgive i mean after all we are all human beings we all make mistakes we all hurt other people fine this time around it could be you that could have been angered by the other person by the next time or some time back you could have also angered some other person so guys it's very important that we learn to forgive and forget that has been our last point now today since the points are many we are not going to go through them but i believe that you've been attentive and i believe that you picked a point two or three four five points that will definitely help you so next time that you're angry my people uh, make sure that you follow our points and definitely you will manage your anger. Like I always say, what I teach you might not be 100% correct or perfect. But hey, if you implement, trust you me, at least 70 to 80% will work for you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Thank you for loving me. And thank you for keeping the love flowing. Don't forget to share the videos. Don't forget to ask your friends, to ask their friends, to ask their friends to subscribe. I love you so much. Good night. Ciao, ciao.